Hi guys, and welcome to the brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Now, first of all, we're going to go into some of the... Uh, I'm going to just go straight into the hid hidden um, tips and tricks about this video. Um, so, if we first go into the watch, we're going to see all of these apps. So if we go to the calculator app, a new tip, a new feature on the Apple Watch Series 5, guys, 5, 5, um, it's going to be, you can do 11% tip, oh sorry, so we can do any one we want, press tip, you can do any tip you like, um, or percent you like. You can do how many people. This is against one person. It's eleven percent tip. You each have to put, um, pay nine pounds thirty-five pence. Another cool feature on the Apple Watch Series Five. Um, you can customize any page you like. If you go to a new one, go to any one we long, and then press on that to remove, hold up, and swipe up. I'll show you that again. To remove, hold down, swipe up remove then you can customize and you like which goes to any one you can go to any one you like and then yeah so then you could choose any here any here any here and then cool thing is that if you're a person that never finds your phone good thing to have an apple watch you can press the button here that pings your phone there you go it's pinged and then if in your bag or something and you can't find it anywhere then hold down on that icon like that and it will activate the flash and it will ping and activate the flash then if we go into the watch again it gets to the bit that's so if we go to there's another cool app called the breathing app and that's there you can press start, you can do any minutes you like, however minutes you like. You can say be still and hold your breath and then wait till it starts vibrating. One minute. So now it's vibrating. So I breathe in and now stop vibrating. So I breathe out. One more cool feature is that, yes, yeah, so you could choose however many minutes you like. So then you want to stop that, press that again, go back into the breathing app, breathe again, just any you like. The bubble will get bigger and it tells you how many breaths are. 35 breaths in 5 minutes, in four, um, 28 minutes in 4 minutes, 28 breaths, 21 bre min breaths in 3 minutes, and 14 breaths in 2 minutes, and 7 breaths in 1 minute. So, you could do any one you like and then... You can kind of estimate how many there are left, how much many minutes there are left, because it, the bubble goes all the way down. Now, the cool thing is you've got messages, um, you can um, um, phone, and you can also, you can either get the mail app, I've got it on here, or you can not get the mail app, or, you, or another thing is you can get GPS or GPS seller. GPS is what I've got, is like, so... When you haven't got your phone with you, you can't text, call, or um, have mail. But when you do have your phone with you, um, you can see all your notifications, get plenty of notifications, and it will last. Now, one more really cool thing everyone knows about on this Apple Watch is the always on display. Series 5 gives you always on display, which if you go quiet, if it goes quiet, it just darkens the screen. All it does. And then tap it again, it'll go lighter. It doesn't actually turn off. But if you have the theatre mode on, if you like if your school allows Apple Watches, you which is good, you'll probably put the theatre mode on, then your watch will completely turn off. If the theatre mode off, then it won't. And on the bottom there's a screen called edit. I'll show you that. Can you see the bottom? It says edit there. The bottom, press that and you can move the apps where oops, wherever you like. I like them just here, so I'm not going to edit any of them now. You press done, then you're done. Um, 
if you want, if you're going to sleep, you can press that disturb button. Um, do you know the moon button? It says do not disturb on on for an hour, on until morning, or on until tomorrow, or on until or on until um evening, or on until leave. Anyone you like. And then also tells you the battery just over here. Show you that. See the battery there. Top one there. Yeah, that's where the battery is. It's also got a bell, which, which tells you with notifications it will ping or won't ping. If you don't want them to ping, just to buzz on the rest, put the bell on. Yeah. Now your Apple Watch is um. Sorry guys, your Apple Watch is not waterproof, it's water resistant. I'll tell you um, in that in a minute, but I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But one more cool thing about the Apple Watch is that if you go into the screen, you've got your heart rate. So wait for my heart rate. Here you go, my heart rate's now 76. Which maybe because I haven't done so much running today. Um so your Apple Watch is used for exercise. So Apple Watch, so I'll explain this now. Your Apple Watch is not waterproof, it's water resistant. Yeah. So it's water resistant to 50 meters under the water, and it's designed for swimmers in mind. Like, for example, if it gets wet, it's fine. If you're under the rain, it's fine. Just don't wear it in a bath with soap, or we wouldn't recommend wearing it in a shower, because it could get inside of the watch and damage it. But if you're in the rain, it's fine, and everything's fine. You could wear it in the shower, but we wouldn't recommend it. Um, yeah, so then if you keep... um, So then, also, yeah, so it's water-resistant, so it's designed for swimmers, so swimmers can go underwater with it and if your parents say oh god no don't wear it in rugby or football that's going to be really scary don't listen because your i found this out that your apple watch is made for sport yeah so if you've got the sport loop like i've got i'm just show you so this loop here is a band it's called a, a pomegranate sport loop when it's a sport in the what in the in the band when it's a sport in it then you wear it in sport if it doesn't you can or you don't really have to um, yeah, so you've also got this one icon here, which, oops, sorry guys, so this one, which is here, walkie talkie, so, if your friends have got an Apple Watch, Series 5 or 4 or whatever, that's got the walkie talkie app, walkie talkie app, sorry guys, um, you can communicate with your Apple Watches with them, if that icon's off, you can't, if you turn that one on like that, You'll get, you can call with them, you can um, have a little chat with them from your Apple Watch to Apple Watch, which is really cool. Now I'm going to show you the torch app here. So if you tap on that, it will go bright. Or you can also do, oops, sorry, red, which is red, which is really cool. Now I'm going to talk about some of the apps in the Apple Watch. Now, here is messages, mail, and the call. Show that. Yeah, that's there. Um, and these ones, yeah, the mail call, I won't go into them now, but, um, these ones you can communicate with your friends with them just from the Apple Watch. You also have timers. So this is a timer clock, here. You can choose how many minutes you want. Um, if you press and hold firmly, then your Apple Watch will choose, it can, you can do analog, digital, or whatever time, yeah. If you go into the apps like so, then you could go to this one. You've got Shadam. And this one, like so, tells you all the times. Like so. And if you go you can you've got an app store here. And you can either if you're talking if you wanna if you communicate with your friend, like you're on messages, you really wanna communicate with your friend because they really, really want you. You can either do I'm on App Store now, so but it'll still it'll do the same thing. You can either dictate it, or if you do scribble, you can write that, which is four, you can write in there, which will make it. 
Um, then a really cool feature on the Apple Watch is if you go, hey Siri, go Siri, say, give me a salmon recipe. Oops, sorry. Hey Siri, give me a salmon recipe. I found this on the web. And he'll say, I found this on the web. And then he finds salmon recipes on the web. Then you can press that button here, open page. There, open page. It'll go there. Try and connect. I'm not connected because I'm in a bad area with connection, but. Here we go. There we go. Now it tells you easy how to make um, grilled like garlic salmon, which will be nice. You've got a whole recipe there. Just from saying, hey Siri, give me a recipe. That's all you have to do. Here's what I found. Yeah, then he says, here's what I found. You put open page, just that button there. I'll show you that again, up close. Open page. Oh crap. You can also hold the button for Siri if he's not responding to you. Or if you hold this button on the side, it has all of these. And yeah, you can also reset the password from your Apple Watch just from your Apple Watch. Not from your iPhone, just from your Apple Watch. You can swipe across any of those to see all any of those if you wanted to. Yeah, and then you can also... You could also, on your phone, if you go to the Apple Watch app, which is here, so in the Apple Watch app, yeah, and then... So as you're in the Apple Watch app, oops, sorry guys, you're in the Apple Watch app, you can go scroll down to any of the like. If you go to Emergency SOS, I would advise you to um, enable that, press that button, and then if you hold the side button on your Apple Watch like here, like so, not th this one, on the just like there, hold that, it will do that like so, like so, yeah? And then it will go to all of those for you, like so. Then, that, well, how the hell did that come out? Sorry guys, then, you're still in the app, so if we go to the watch app again, you have, oops, let's go to the, yeah, you have all these different types of faces, you can even scroll down to see all of them, so many. Then also in the watch app, if you hold that to customise, you can go to your Mickey Mouse page, which there's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, if you get them. So it says to time this one. It's six. But if you have enabled this one, the cinema mode, it won't say anything. Like so. But if you have that enabled with Mickey Mouse, it's six. it will work. And if you have it on, it won't work. Like so. Yeah. And then you you to pair your Apple Watch, all you do is go to just here. You can also press this find my Apple Watch button. Right, let me show you that. One minute. Go to the find my Apple Watch button, which is that. You press on that. It will go to this. Then my watch will ping. Then it says where it is. Like so. See where your watch is. If you press the button play sound, my watch is beeping and it's not playing the sound because I've got that mode on, the cinema mode. But anyway, it will still work. It tells you all the things here. It tells you if you can erase the data, which is really cool. You can go to that button on the bottom that says unpair my Apple Watch, which if you want to unpair it, you can do that. And then that's all normally the features you want to kind of find on the Apple Watch. But if you go to all of them, then you've also got Shazam that I've installed. And if you go to App Store, you can scribble or dictate. So if I press this tape, I can do G 
Games for kids. Done. Then it comes up with these nice games for kids. Or if I go out and press scribble, you can put um on that. You can write games for kids. I'm not gonna do that now because I'm upside down, but that's what it will do too. Um now because you've got Apple Music here, you've got all your Apple Music stuff. Yeah, you have that. You can play it to your iPhone. Or if you don't want to pay so much, then install the Spotify app and you've got it on your phone already. If you press that button to play, it will go immediately to your iPhone, like so. Like if I do that again, let me show you what that will do. It goes to the same, then to stop it, I press that again. And then it will do all, and then it will control to your iPhone. Now, if we go to the camera button, which is blah, 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 blah. here we go it will automatically go to your iphone just like that and then on the apple watch if you press that three second button you do that then it takes a flash and now it would have taken a camera shot on there and if you go to the photos on your watch which is Sorry guys to keep you waiting. Here. Then if I find it. Yeah, then it'll be there, but uh, I can't find it now. But uh, if I press so now, if I press hold there, press create new watch face, you can press photos or that one, and then it'll do a new watch face with that photo you have got. Yeah. So, for example, if I go into my photos one more time, then I can go to so I'll just take a picture of me. So you go to in the camera app again, in the here. You press that. Oops. You press that camera button. Go to your iPhone automatically just like that it goes to your iPhone press take a photo that would have taken a photo onto the Apple Watch and that iPhone yep and then you can press that to get in to and then you can create that as a watch face you've also got the new feature called the compass app on here which it tells you what direction you're going in. If I move, it's, going to go in a bit, it's not going north, it's going the other way. If I move that way, it's not going north either. And now it is going north, which is good. Which is a good feature for if you're lost somewhere or you want to go somewhere. Now also, one more feature is good thing is that you've got Google Maps. So let's say you wanted to go to Devon. I would go search. Now I could scribble or dictate, I'm going to dictate. Devon. Devon. Now I've said Devon. Now it's done it. Now it tells you where it is. You can press driving or public pants, um, transport. And then it tells you how long it takes to get there, which is a good feature. Now it also has... Um, finding people you can find people on your watch um, I've installed a game here from the App Store and it just tells you you can do hot which is the correct answer and it goes green which is a cool thing if I go to my activity tracker I've earned a cycling reward so if you're going to here the top you can go cycling and then you can do outdoor cycle Guys, ready? Three. Now let's go. Now I'm cycling. If I cycle a long time, what will happen is, so now if I end that, if I be cycling for a long time, long, long time, what will happen is, in that activity tracker, it'll ping and say you've earned a cycling reward. And that'll be really cool because then you earn a cycling reward, very good. Then I've also earned these ones and these ones. As you can see, I haven't earned so many because I haven't been so active right now. But yeah, so that's what I've earned so far. 
And in the activity app, it also tells you, today I haven't done many steps because I got hurt, but it tells you, I'll just show you this, it tells you how many steps you've done, it tells you how, many, how to move, how much you've moved, how much exercise, how much you stand, how much you stood, um, 775 steps, rubbish, 65 kilometres of five flights of stairs climbed. Now also, if, it, if you haven't moved a lot, this like today, then what it will do is ping on your wrist and say, remember to stand or remember to get up and move or get up run or move and then yeah then you don't have to but it will ping but then you could just swipe up on the other one and press so it just beeps if you're in the cinema or something now last thing if you go to here stocks it comes up with all your things you've done in percent you've got stocks on there and i installed this this one it's an app called TikTok, and it's on there. You can press next, and it loads, and then it does all that what, that you want to do. Um, yes. Yeah, so then you've also got the app called here. You've got your calendar. What you've got, whatever you got here for your calendar. Um, yeah, another active tracker I stored. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But you've also got audio books. There you go. That's audio books. You can see you can play like on to your iPhone. And also if you want to play music, you can play it through Bluetooth headphones. So if you get Bluetooth headphones, what you can do is so if I go to Spotify. So I've got a playlist here. So I could, if I wanted to, get this one. It goes to your iPhone. If your iPhone's not connected, what it will do is say connect to a device. If that's on Apple Music, sorry, not on Spotify, that's on Apple Music. So it says connect to a device if you want one. Let's see. There you go. Connect to no, connect a device. Press that. Then it goes to your Bluetooth and it's searching all the Bluetooth things around you. If you go into your settings, it has display and brightness, everything you need, and it also has an SOS app, which you hold the side button for. Yeah, and then, yeah, so then you go back in. If you go back in, it comes up with this. You can choose all other ones, and then also it has this, so it tells you the you the degrees. Then it tells you the how much pollu air pollution. Um, it's low. It's one UV index zero, and it's today it's six miles per hour. The speed the of the wind go at heading north, and it tells you all of the what will be next. Um. This is one more feature, like I go into the app and so, then if I shout a bit loud, if I shout louder, it will go loud, repeated, long. And then if I shout really loud, it will go, it'll go like, really loud, and then it'll say, too loud for your ears, you might want to stop. And then that's a cool feature to have, if you're in a really loud concert, it'll tell you if it's too loud for your ears or not. I've also got recordings, so if I went, hello, hello. Now stop recording. I'll go. Okay, I've got it. Hello. Hello. Stop recording. There we go. That's how it is. Probably didn't hear that. But yeah, it, it said hello, hello. Let me stop this recording. And then I've also installed a watchmaker app on there too. Yeah. So then you've also got your reminders. So you can press, hold down, press new reminder. Then you can do. Do smiley face, dictate, or scribble. Also, on the messages and stuff, it has a smiley face that you can choose too. If you go onto the world clocks, you have all the world different clocks. So, yep, you know that. So then, oops. Yep, we could check all of them from there. And you could add a city, for example, if I add a city called maybe like Berlin or something. Do. Oops. So that was a notification that came up and it beeped because he didn't have the theatre mode on. So if I say 
Berlin. Oopsie. Let's try it now. Berlin. And you press done. It comes up Berlin, Germany. Then it comes up there and it tells you Berlin in Germany, which is your first clock. There. So now we're back on all the apps. You've got everything there. You've also got yeah, so the walkie talkie is there. You can choose any one you like person. And then here you can do all the outdoor walk stuff. It goes beeps, three, two, beep. Then to pause it, oops, to pause it, just press pause. If you want to put the water lock on because you're swimming, you press the water lock or you can end it. You've got all of these, I'll go through them quickly. And you can add a workout, for example, badminton, any of these. You can add a workout, which is really cool. You've got all the workouts in the world on this. So then, you go through them all. Then you, right now, the watch only has like outdoor walk, outdoor run, outdoor cycle, indoor walk, indoor run, indoor cycle. Um, I'll pick, take, sorry, I can't see because I'm upside down, but yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one, and just those right now, but you could choose different ones as you go up. So, you've also got all your like wallet and stuff there. And also one more cool feature on the um, times. Oh, also, if you just press that again, it'll go back in to the clock. You don't have to actually press the clock. If you just press that again, it just goes back into the clock. If you're like, like maybe there, or if you get t keep turning the digital crown, it'll go in like that. Yeah, as so. And then you can go out or in. And then if you keep just press again, it'll just go right into so it'll go right into the clock. And you can go out again. And when you're on the clock, you can also go to a cool app um which is this one. So you can customize this how you like. You can do flower, so I'll choose flower right now. Then I want this, yep, that's fine. So then, come out, press this. Now look, it does. If I press, hmm, whoops, but yeah. So if I get out of that, now this, comes, it will, it will come up with different flowers. There's this one, you can see where in, um, we've got in 34 days, that's where the planets will be and 29 and then 86 days ago the planets were there and then this one cool it tells you now so where we are now so now it's day but if we scroll back there it's night twilight then you can see and then tap again it'll just go back to where it's meant to be if we go to this flower one again it does different flowers if you tap open that one tap again different one or you can customize this and go to butterflies so then if you go in there we go you go to butter different butterflies and then if you customize it one more time it will go to this which is jellyfish Go. Another jellyfish, different jellyfish, different one. There's a lot of different ones. Jellyfish one is quite pretty. Now, if we go out one more time, see all the apps. We have settings where you have all the things, and you have the podcasts app. Now, because this is not connected to the internet, I can't do it now, but if I do this one, I can create a podcast or get podcast or I can get on the internet like if I ask Siri hey Siri get me onto the internet I found this on the web so then he tells you I found this on the web you open the page and then you're onto the internet then you can press the top bit then you go to the internet which is clever 
which is not how it's like meant to do, but that's a clever feature you could probably use. Yeah. So that's all that. So that's for now what we're what the Apple Watch Series 5 does. The Apple Watch is really um, different to the always on display. Everyone was going mad about the always on display. If you just tap it like that, it won't completely go off. But remember guys, if you have this on, it will just turn off. Thank you for watching guys. I appreciate you sitting here and watching us and please hit that like button down below. Bye.